Hey everybody, Will Bishop here at Custom Crafted Concepts. So I've got a little, just a little trick for you. So a buddy of mine brought a Browning X-Bolt Hell's Canyon. He wants to run a suppressor on it. This is a 6.5 Creedmoor, is a 5 8 by 24 thread. And as you can tell, it is a Cerakoted barrel and it has not the boss comp, but it has a brake on the front of it. This is a Browning brake. It's a complete factory Browning rifle. Um, so there are no wrench flats on this muzzle brake. So that presents a challenge. If you don't have the tools, I don't see any wrench flats. So if I want to take this off and expose those threads, then what we've got, we have a situation where we need to get something in there. Now, you don't want to stick something in there like a, like a rod or something and break those threads loose. So let me show you a quick little trick. Um, now, I've already broken this loose. I had the barrel in a barrel vise, um, but this will work. Uh, secure your rifle, make sure it's completely unloaded, and uh, let me show you right quick. So, on this rifle, take a little 550 paracord, and you want to run that paracord It's just a scrap piece. So you want to run that cord through. You want to tie it off. Granted, this is a scrap piece, so it got a little bit of frays. You want to take a non-marring handle of some sorts. You want to slip it through your knot and you want to take it and you want to apply pressure and you want to go and pop that loose. All right. So what you've done is you've run that 550 cord and we all know 550 paracord is super strong. So we've taken that 550 paracord and we've run it through that muzzle brake and then we've used the leverage with a non-marring implement and we've been able to use that leverage and break it loose. So once we've broken it loose, we've got 5 8 by 24 exposed threads. So now we are good to go to mount whatever muzzle device suppressor that we want to. 